Okay, Lou Depot back here again. And what we're going to go over is uh, circulator pumps and sizing the prop, your circulator pump for the job. Now, there's a ton of different boiler systems out there. There's a ton of different zones, large pipes, small pipes. Some zones go to a third story where a circulator really has to work. So, depending on the size of the pipe, how much water has to travel to the pipe per minute, which is gallons per minute, and how big the zone is, depends on the pump you need. Not all pumps fit all, so Takeo makes a whole bunch of different pumps for all those particular applications. But how do you choose which pump is a whole different story. Well, they've made a chart, and the chart simply has flow rate on the bottom and total head loss on the side. And those are numbers here and numbers here. And then a pump curve chart, what the pump is capable of doing, the different pumps. And I'll bring it closer so you can see. Um, let's see here. Let me do it this way. On the side, that's the head loss in feet, 5, 10, 15, 20. We're going to go over it. You're going to understand this. And on the bottom is flow rate in gallons per minute. This being a very large pump, a 0013, as you can see, it can handle 35 gallons a minute and 35 foot head of, of, of head loss, which is incredible. That's a very large pump. Probably something you would use in a, in a high-rise building. But we're down in this area here. So if you can see, Takeo makes 003s, 6s, 008s, 005, 007, a very popular pump. Uh, 11 and 12. But what we're going to do with this chart is give you an idea by doing math how to choose the proper pump, what size pump. And it's a simple, simple thing. It's flow rate, head loss, chart. Flow rate, head loss, chart. And what head loss is is simply this. If you ever circulate a pump and you put a hose on one end into a bucket of water and start pumping the water out of the bucket and it'll only put maybe a two or three inch piece of copper, of course the pump is pumping this way. You turn the pump on, it starts shooting that water out. There's no strain. It's just pumping. There's no head loss at all because the circulator is pumping out of two or three inches of copper. Once you change that and you pipe this copper all the way up to a second and third floor with a bunch of elbows through baseboard and back up again and all over the place, that circulator has to force all that water around and that starts working, and by pushing all the water around, it has to fight a little harder. And the further up it goes, and the more elbows it hits, depending on diameter pipe, it loses a little bit of power, and that's called head loss. So ultimately, when you're looking for the proper circulator, you're going to look for a circulator that can handle the gallons per minute that you're looking for, at the head loss and handle the head loss rate also. So if you have a circulator, if you come up with a number of three foot of head loss and 2.5 gallons per minute, you'll go to that chart and look for a circulator that can handle three foot of head while still pumping 2.5 gallons a minute. I can't be any more crystal clear than that. And we're going to do the math, which is very simple. But that's why they have the chart. They make a, a bunch of different pumps. You can't just throw any pump onto a zone. You can, and it may work, but it may sound like Niagara Falls in the house with the heat going around and people wondering what's going on or why is it so loud. Or maybe you don't have heat. So there's issues when you use the wrong size pump, and that's why. Now this class is going to be a few different cuts because it's kind of long explaining the math, but it, I, can, I can promise you it's going to be worth it, and the math is easy.